Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about functions in SAS. Like any other language, SAS also supports function, but it has slightly different syntax. We can declare a function using at the rate symbol and write it function and uh, function name. Let's say heading parameters and the statement. In parameters we can pass parameters let's say phone size and variance and function basically used to do some calculation perform some operation and return the output so we can return using at the rate return and what we can do in dollar font size minus variance so whatever size we will provide it will minus by the value of variance let's try to use it for using it uh, let's use one for loop and for loop will also use like this for variable dollar i from dollar min through dollar max dollar min let's make it one and dollar max let's make it six and again the statement and let's define head headings so that h interpolation dollar i uh, again we can write phone size is heading now we are calling the function heading giving the size of the font comma and 2 into dollar i so whatever I value it will be multiplied by 2 and minus so if we save we can see we get h1 18 16 12 10 8 with h2 h6 respectively in this case let's create some list also dollar colors and in this list we can put some colors let's say red and uh, comma orange uh, comma purple let's mark it like this and here we can define the color with the help of that list by using nth function which I have already covered in my last tutorial and in nth we can pass two things dollar color colors comma dollar i so if we save we can see the colors are also available for every heading from the list so red goes to h1 and so on and inside this we can create if and else loop also so these are conditional operators we can use at the rate if if it is heading 1 then font family should be Arial else if if the font family is h2 or h3 then the font family is the Homa else font family is Verdana for h1 font family will be Arial for h2 and h3 font family will be Tahoma and font family Verdana for rest of the selectors oh save
Mm -hmm. What happened? Okay, something is broken. Oh, I forgot to mention at the rate. Now I think it should work. Yes. So Arial Tahoma Tahoma Vardana Vardana Vardana. So this is how we can use conditional operators. Now let's move to mixings. So for mixings we can create mixings. Mixings are also like functions but here we don't perform any calculation or we avoid because if you you are doing some calculations use functions otherwise if it is more about the syntax we want to copy in our uh, selectors then we should use mixings so mixin start with at the rate mixing keyword and let's create padding like function mixing also accept parameters arguments and in this argument we can write padding as dollar size plus pixel so whatever value we will receive it will be post fixed by px and we can call using include at the rate include so for mixing at the rate include followed by the mixing name that is called padding inside this we can write something not very complex but I have written this for the purpose of some meaningful result oh. a minus dollar one so this is the value we are passing and if we save we, we will get the error and the error is dollar i dollar i oh dollar one no dollar one so you can see for h1 padding is six pixel five pixel four pixel three pixel two pixel one pixel and now let's see how we can use each loops one loop for loop we have already covered let's see how we can use at the rate each for this let's create map of map is also covered last time so for h1 let's say underline comma h2 should be overline overline and now this loop each loop takes two statement first is dollar color the mm, value in the list or array colors so remember this color is same what we have defined here so dot now use interpolation for dollar color and in this color we can write color is dollar color and you will see that every individual color has its own color red color blue color pink is pink color so this is how we can use each let's take one more example of each where we are using heading comma text in dollar map so a heading is for key and text is for value and we can iterate on it using again one interpolation heading and here text decoration is dollar text and if we save we'll see the h1 and h2 as these properties overline and uh, underline and that is all from the loops the conditional operators mixing and function 
for now next tutorial I'll try to finish the debugging and warning directives and uh, the includes at the rate import so thanks for watching please like and subscribe my video and you can get the example URL in the description of video thank you